Greetings, I am Rob Chapman. It is universally acknowledged that guitarists love gear. We can never have enough shiny, exciting effects pedals. There's always an awesome new amplifier coming out that's just going to have that wicked, crisp, new tone that's perfect for you. And the one who dies with the most guitars wins. But it's the one thing that you can't see on your pedal board or on top of your cab that really counts, and that is your ears. The most valuable tool for any musician. After many years of session work, tuition work, clinics, demonstrations, jamming in bands, writing music, I've managed to train my ears to help me recognise and understand the music that I hear. I guess I've learnt to be inspired by the sounds that I hear all around me. So for example, I could be sat on a train, listening to the tracks rolling underneath the wheels, it sets up a rhythm going, and in my head, I'm laying down a melody. Or maybe I'm sat in bed, drinking a coffee, listening to the birds, and the interesting counterplay, the call and response that they naturally emit. Even down to just the heartbeat in your chest, pounding away, giving you that basis of life, the music that's always there. You know, music is all around us, and it's our job as musicians to soak it up like a rock sponge. Studying theory is one thing, a very important thing, but if you don't apply it to the sounds that you hear and the music that you play, you'll never really unlock your true potential as a musician. And with a bit of practice, you can train your ears to do more than just listen, you can train them to understand. Have you ever stopped to wonder, what's the difference between a C minor seven chord and a C seven chord, or a C major seven chord, or a C major seven add nine? I don't know. Oh well, back to Skyrim. Actually, I'm kind of hungry now. Oh, I wonder if Epic Mealtime just uploaded a new video. Souls Bowls. I love reindeers. How many times have you wanted to learn a super cool tune that you've just heard, but you can't because no one on Ultimate Guitar has uploaded a free tab for you to download? Maybe ask yourself these simple questions. What's the difference between a pentatonic scale and a blues scale? What can you use to start defining your own musical style? What makes a major chord major? Could I play Dorian over a major seven chord? Which notes will I sing over a G7 chord? I've created a unique music course to help you answer all of those questions, but also to help you understand the language of music. I wanted to make it accessible for everybody, so it doesn't matter if you're a guitar player, bassist, drummer, singer, producer, engineer, narwhal horn, even if you never played an instrument in your entire life, this will still help you understand music. It starts out really, really simply, and it gets really, really hard. But fear not, there is no time limit to train your ears, and it's a skill that you can constantly improve as you become more and more aware of the sounds and the music around you in daily life. This recording will guide you and hone your skills for years and years to come. It's called Train Your Ears and it will do just that. You know that thing you want to do, but you can't do because you just don't know how to do it? Train your ears is like a shiny tome of knowledge that will guide you on your path to righteousness. It's an educational recording that shares the most important lessons I could ever teach. And now, it's available on iTunes. When life sent me lemons, I chose to get a new life. One that included state-of-the-art ear training for musicians of all abilities and backgrounds. I am Rob Chapman. I trained my ears with the same routines on Train Your Ears and found that my ears became so highly trained I needed to keep them subdued with mild narcotics or risk multi-exponential mental musical mind expansion. I took that risk and it was worth it. And now you can take the same journey to a new musical horizon when you train your ears with me, Rob Chapman.